Hey guys, welcome back and happy new year to you all. I know I haven't been doing any videos in a while and that's because what happens is that the receiver, the antenna wire on my receiver that I had before, it, it got damaged in the propeller blades I believe and I was getting drop in signal and I was crashing. So I decided not to fly for the while and I ordered a new receiver. So this is the Radio Link R6 DSM. It's a very, very small, it's a micro receiver. You all can see the difference between these two receivers. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to install this new receiver, make sure everything's working, and then I'll probably do some other videos showing the other stuff that I ordered. I ordered a new camera, the Foxy HS1177 camera. I also ordered a, a new beeper for the Lost Quad that I'll try to do, and I'll, I'll probably solder it onto the board. It'll be my first time soldering, so we'll see how that goes. So stay tuned. I have some videos coming up showing first time changing of camera, changing of lens, and installing um, the buzzer. For now, I'm taking it one step at a time and making sure everything works. So I'll do the receiver first, make sure this works. Then I'll probably change the camera, make sure that works, change the lens, and then the buzzer. So on to um, the, the receiver. Let's first plug it in. This signal wire is the this symbol here is for the signal wire, so I'll plug it in this way. Just a little bit about this receiver. It's supposed to be a, a 10 channel S bus PPM receiver. The range is stated as 600 meters. I'm not sure about that, but we'll see how that goes. So 600 meters S bus PPM receiver. So I'll plug in that. So what do you say anyway? Turn on the radio and power the cord. Alright. If the light is um blue, I believe that is um S bus mode, red is for PPM. So just hold the buy button. Try that once more. So right now there's no um, RSSI signal, right? So I'll hold, hold the bind button. Right, so it starts blinking and it's solid. And now we have RSSI signal on the, um, the transmitter. An RSSI signal here as well, so which shows that the receiver is bound to the transmitter. Next, what I want to do, I want to um, plug this into the computer and beta flight and set it up. All right, so I'm not sure if I need to close up the quad first. Uh, I'll probably close it up and then I'll, I'll get back to you guys, right? Stay tuned. Okay guys, so I just put the cord back together, um, plugged it into beta flight. Uh, now I'm just going to, um, to check the receiver. Plug this in. Alright, so let's see. Shuttle needs reversing. Pitch needs to reverse. Roll seems okay. So, shuttle has to reverse. If I look at the chord here. Turning left, right, that's okay. Let's check out the auxiliary channel. 
auxiliary two is switch E. Auxiliary one. Auxiliary one and three is on switch C. So I need to check that out. Auxiliary four is switch D. Auxiliary five. So one and three is on switch C, so I need to check that into the controller. Uh, Accelerometer trim minus two. I don't know what is that about. I don't know why accelerometer trim is minus two. I wouldn't interfere with that yet. Okay, so what I need to do. Okay, let me go into modes. 